Hey guys, it's Maggie with Grassroots Dog Training, and I just decided to go for a little stroll and I wanted to take you guys along with me. Uh, today I want to actually talk to everybody about building your dream. A lot of us, it's going to be through our businesses. Of course, we love dogs, we love people, uh, but there's a lot of different things that keeps dog trainers back. You're holding yourself back, and I wanted to kind of uh, share part of my story with everybody, which starts just about where I'm standing, the very beginning of our driveway, right on right way. And uh, as I'll show you here in a second, the road to get to our beautiful property here is actually going down the wrong road. This whole video is really gonna be about talking about how the wrong road can really lead to the right way. So let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> One of the most important things for you and your business will always be your attitude. <laughs> Such an interesting thing. I talk to dog trainers and, you know, really some amazing professionals all the time. I'll show you guys, that's one of our fields. We get to go and play with dogs and we do camping trips out there. Uh, we've had festivals, all kinds of fun stuff. It's one piece of our property. So one of the first things that you have to really know about yourself, especially as an entrepreneur, uh, by the way, this is one of our dog yards. Um, I love that door. My husband built it for me. It's made out of recycled material from an old house that was going to go to the dump. It's pretty neat. I'll show you guys close up. But the first thing you got to understand is your own personal objections that are keeping you behind from actually moving forward. Most often, if I'm uh, consulting a dog trainer that's having an issue with clients closing or uh, getting, you know, getting their sales up or their prices up or whatever, that usually ends up being a direct result of the dog trainer, you, your business owner, uh, you are actually, for some reason, not trusting yourself you're having a hard time investing in yourself. Therefore, clients naturally are not gonna want to be investing in you. Here's the, here's the real deal, guys. If you are really not trusting of yourself, if your objections are actually coming from within, you're not gonna be able to move forward. Um, now, just recently for us, you know, my dog training career over the last uh, four years, I decided, you know what, I personally, I really believe in environmental sustainability. Um, we didn't want to live inside of a crammed urban environment, so we decided to jump off the proverbial cliff, take a risk, trust ourselves, and decide to purchase this property. And at the time, all we could afford was really the property, so I'm going to show you guys. This, <laughs> that was our starting house. This literally, we lived in this tent for the first nine months after we moved. We moved to a brand new place. I knew nobody. I was starting from scratch and it was up to me, um, I'm the working parent in my family, to figure out a way uh, to create a sustainable business and quick. So we ended up purchasing another piece of property. We're now living in a house. We're working on actually building our own house. My dog's running away. Yeah, you see where we were coming from. And that leads to my next point, which is seeing the big picture. Um, for us, we knew what the big picture was. I trusted myself. I knew what I had to offer. And I started with a game plan. So I was quickly able to grow my, at the time, just my uh, private practice of my dog training business. I had a very special niche. I'm an aggression specialist. Uh, I also specialize in board and trains because I was trained by one of the best in that field. And so the bigger picture leads to big thinking, not limited, scared, afraid to take the next step kind of thinking. And so as we go through this walk on my property here, our little dog land of in itself, our whole thinking was the big picture, having a space, a community space where we know that the dogs are going to be happiest, our clients are going to be able to reconnect with nature, and the lovely thing is we have been able to easily invest in building something up to give back to others. Um, now this is another really troubling area a lot of times, even for a lot of very successful and amazing dog trainers that I know and speak with and help, um, they're still afraid of making money. They're still afraid that if they make that $20,000 in a weekend, that you know it looks, it reflects badly on them. 
But if you are watching this and you're going on this little excursion with me around my property, this, all of this, everything that we have is to be shared. So our investment, like me making, um, you know, my first $150,000 in the first year of being in North Carolina, because I'm really good at business, that's kind of why I do this stuff, didn't mean that I went out and bought a fancy car. Um, in fact, my car is a 1997 Volvo station wagon. You know, what I decided to invest in is in helping other people, not necessarily all going to me or my family. So having that big picture thinking, opening yourself up to the possibilities is so important. If you're not able to do that, you're never going to be able to break through that ceiling. And now I'm not even talking to or about, um, you know, trainers that are just starting out or doing it part time. There's a lot of trainers that many people look up to that are struggling with these very issues. Uh, there's very few of them that have really broken through that small minded thinking. So the next big personal objection that most dog trainers need to face in order to move on and really have that dream success, that business that you, you know, love and crave is the ability to find and establish your tribe, your community. This idea that you're going to be able to go it alone is not going to work for you for very long. That's not because you're not amazing. Trusting a support system and having a community, having a tribe that you really mesh with, there's mosquitoes everywhere, ah! but having a support system that you can really trust and rely on is absolutely critical. You don't want to leave yourself out there to have to reinvent the wheel, especially when somebody can offer you the opportunity to learn from a cumulative knowledge and to learn from, from others' mistakes. This gives you such great stepping stones. But the first thing that you need to do to get to the point where you can accept that is to learn to to trust. Now I'm not saying just go trust anybody out there, but it also takes a little bit of good old fashioned intuition knowing when you have encountered somebody that just jives with you, meshes with you. Now there's been several times recently where you know, I've been on um, the phone connecting with somebody and they feel like, oh my God, like it's almost like you know me. Um, you know, it's what are you, psychic Maggie? And it's like, no, it's just that we're having a genuine connection. And when that happens, those are the people you want to go with. Those are the people that that you want to be able to, to um, give the gift of your trust to so that you can help them, they can help you, and you can establish that community that's really going to support you through a lot of the challenges that you're ultimately going to have to face as you're growing your dream business. Oh boy. And another really important area that you are likely going to have to work through your own personal objections is what I call pushing back the can'ts. The, the, oh, you can't do that. You can't, you know, become a really successful dog trainer. Um, you know, who makes money doing that? Oh, you're just going to waste your time. You're just going to this. You can't do that. You Don't listen to the naysayers because they are like leeches. <laughs> they will suck your motivation. They will suck your energy. And you're going to have nothing left to push through your own objections to yourself. So don't listen to the naysayers and don't be influenced by the I can'ts or you can't. So the last thing I really want to leave with uh, you guys with today is embracing the wrong road. <laughs> embrace your mistakes, embrace the unknown, embrace the mental challenge of just being outside of your comfort zone and being uncomfortable. Stop using the fact that you're busy and, and right on the verge of successful to avoid doing the really hard work that's going to keep you going forward and keep you in a sustainable place where you can do the things that you want to do over the long run. Embrace those mistakes. Embrace that discomfort. Truly, I mean, we are a great example that the wrong road can lead to the right way. There's no doubt about it. The main thing you've got to remember is don't, you know, don't trust the can'ts. Trust the people that are really part of your community and that mesh with you the most. Focus on yourself. Don't allow your own fear and your own 
momentary small way of thinking prevent you from really take, taking that leap and doing something truly great with your business and your life. Um, you know, our life and our business is all rolled into one. That's what we believe in. That's what I truly believe in. As so many of you guys know, my personality is what it is. I don't have like a fake persona on here. I don't have a fake persona for work or for business. You, you know, what you see is what you get basically. And that's because that's what we believe in. If you're the different, then that's fine. Go find, you know, people that want to be fake too, right? But for us, it's okay to embrace the big picture. It's okay to embrace making that $20,000 in a weekend because of what kind of gifts you're able to give back and you're able to facilitate and sustain in a world that really is craving change. So go get out there, make some change. If you, you know, if you understand and you're picking up what I'm putting down here, then please share this with somebody else that you know is going to really jive with this message. You know, like me on Facebook, give, you know, the old hand up to the thumbs up down below, all of that good stuff. Don't forget to subscribe, but most of all, go out, make yourself a little bit uncomfortable, get outside of that comfort zone, make more mistakes and learn to trust again. I love you guys. Now go change the world.